Okay, app. So we're gonna go in this grocery store. We're gonna get you things that you can't live without. Okay. Right. All right. Okay. So I need you to be a hundred percent transparent. Okay. The thing is, they gonna need to know. Right. I'm gonna stop here in the salad section because we, you know, I eat a salad from time to time okay. in the morning. All right. So you have your salad. It's good. The purpose of salad, the premises of it, is to keep you fuller. The most nutrition you take in, the better. Okay. But the uh, romaine lettuce doesn't have the optimal amount of nutrition. I'm gonna show you a mix. Okay. Right You've seen it all the time. This mix right here. And I have the baby spinach, the spring lettuce. It has uh, romaine lettuce in here. I think sometimes it does, not always. But it gives you a mixture of different leaves and plants so you get more nutrition. That way you won't have to snack on it all the time. Okay. Or, yeah, so pretty much it. So that's okay, so let, let's, let's... Want to take this big one? Yes, yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's a bit of us in the house, so okay. we're going okay. to swap it out. we got a house okay. full. <laughs> Can't live without my bananas. Yep, what you got? Yellow potato. Yep, for like potato. hash browns and home fries yeah. and that type of stuff. Of course, but let me make sure you got the right one. Okay. Okay. You got this. Hey, this is good, Ab, and it's even better because you got the organic. And the reason why, because you want to make sure that you're minimizing the chemicals, and that's why I always preach organic. Some people are like, ah, oh, organic, there really isn't a difference. It really is. When you actually sit down and think about it. Um, there's so much in our food that I don't want to get down to like, oh, why we shouldn't do it. But it's great to balance out our hormones, our moods, minimizing the chemicals, go with organic. It, I'm not saying that it doesn't have chemicals, but it doesn't have the harmful chemicals that the nutritional stuff does. So that's why. I was going to ask you um, about organic because I, I provide just, just regular food, but then I know you're like organic, organic. So I, I'm happy to explain it because I'm like, well, what's the difference? Yeah. So now I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely. Keep it, yeah. keep it simple. Yeah, I, and I know it's more money. Sometimes it's more costly, but I always say this: like hospital bills, they're expensive too. So Absolutely. it's either you pay now, or pay later. You weigh out the options, right there. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Any salmon? Look at me. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it on you, like yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> now I need to know the right type to buy because I I guess I just buy the um, the Atlantic salmon, salmon. Uh -huh. and and that's it is there a, a difference a yeah. difference in what I should be buying yep always go with wild caught and the reason why wild caught is more nutritious the they're exposed to their natural environment they're eating the, the diet that they're supposed to be eating farm fish they're feeding them these pellets and it's um, the pellets, not only they're feeding them the pellets, they're in these farm cages and they're so close together that they don't have enough room to like swim around and do what they need to do. So now it causes disease, now they're exposed to parasites. What happens when they have parasites and they're giving them antibiotics and now what happens? We're taking in that stuff. So in the wild caught stuff, they're out there in the wild, they're out there in the community. They're eating their diet, the flesh is this natural pink color. And the farm-raised stuff, I mean the farm-raised salmon, they um, actually put a pink dye in their food because there's a shortage of salmon out there. So they breed them with um, this fish called, I think it's a halibut fish. 
with the salmon to make more and their babies come out with this gray skin tone so now they give them this the the pink theme uh -huh. to make the flesh flesh with pink so that's why we go with wild caught salmon okay i always try to get the freshest looking piece and it's not consistent in color so for me that tells me that it's not fresh but with fish you don't want to mess with any fish that's going bad because gonna get food poisoning, seafood poisoning, and that's not easy. It's a little bit harder to tell, but I definitely just go by the color. Um, and it's hard because it's right next to this farm-raised salmon. And you're looking at this thinking like, man, this looks so beautiful, let me get this. But the color is, they use this pink dye to make it look so fresh. Mm -hmm. The same theory with shrimp mm -hmm. too, wild caught, get the wild caught. It's more expensive, but like I said, pay now, well, you pay later. Because shrimp is already high in fat, mm -hmm. um, the butter is already high in fat. You want to pair it with just vegetables. You don't want to pair it with any other carbohydrate source, unless it's a quinoa mm -hmm. that's lower in carbs. Um, you don't want a high starchy carbohydrate to pair with that meal. Okay. Sometimes the rule, sometimes it can be like avocado toast, you can have that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to get too much into it because it can get confusing really quickly. Mm -hmm. But in short, just pairing it with uh, just vegetables. Okay, yeah. okay. Oh yeah. yeah, that's good right there. Yeah. That nice. looks real good. Yeah, same thing with pork, but it gets really tricky because it that has omega six. Omega six sat omega yeah, six. <laughs> which is saturated fat. Okay, that's all like it's, yeah, and that's the fat that we have to watch out for when we're eating our food. We don't want to take in too much omega-6 mm -hmm. because it increases inflammation mm -hmm. and that is the, the, the breeding ground for disease. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go into the, the, the meat section and we'll, we'll discuss that because yeah. absolutely, like I, I like my pork chops, so like I know I have to modify, I know I can't fry them, but mm -hmm. I can bake them. Yeah. But you know, I like mine's bone in, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, those, those, that's better. And that's even better because I, I say the bone has collagen in it. Mm -hmm. Of course, pork doesn't have as much collagen as beef, mm -hmm. but still, it's it's, it's uh, thank you so much. Our digestive system. Alrighty, can't go without no bacon. Mm -hmm. Love me some bacon. It's like nitrate free. Let's make sure it's good. No artificial ingredients. Yep. Some maple smoke. Mm. Yeah, that's flavor's gonna be real good on that. Yeah. Yep. You want to make sure that you got the. I don't think hopeful hopeful sell like bacon mm -hmm. that has nitrate in it, but you want to make sure that it's nitrate free, minimum process. Mm -hmm. You want to check the ingredients to see what they put in there. Okay, Pork, cane the sugar, sea salt, natural maple flavors, which is good. Everything we can pronounce, we know what's in there. It's actual like stuff that we know. So it's good. Okay, so this is good to have in the morning time with the egg. Yeah. Anything else? Just bacon and, and eggs. just the eggs? Uh, That's yeah. it. No, no toast, no, just the bacon, right? Yep, yep. Keep it. Yep, keep it okay. simple. Okay. And with the bacon, you want to be careful again because it has omega-6. So you want to eat it, eat it, but don't have it all the time. You don't mm -hmm. want to just overdo it. So I do sausages from time to time. Uh-huh. What about sausages? Mm -hmm. Like... Yeah, sausages only because it's processed. Mm -hmm. Time to time, every now and then it's fine mm -hmm. but having it all the time is not good because again it's processed mm -hmm. and they have a lot of chemicals in there to make it fresh that stuff can mess with our hormones mm -hmm. in the brain system things and it's high in sodium too so then you're retaining water okay. which is it over i'm doing it for a long period of time isn't helping so you're going to do sausage nitrate free same thing with the pork mm -hmm. things like that mm -hmm. every now and then you'll be fine okay like you said, <laughs> you know exactly what you're putting in it mm -hmm. to make it taste good. This yeah, stuff, this stuff is. They got scientists in the lab talking about some. I know what to do to make this taste good, and you That's know. Crazy. Yeah. I love me a good sausage too. Ah, oh, that just killed everything. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me let me back. Yeah. Backtrack. I ain't going. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. So pretty much, 
I want to stay away from um, the pork until Thanksgiving. That's what I'm going to Yeah, yeah, you want to minimize how much you're taking in because of the omega-6. You chicken know what I'm going to say? Get some organic chicken breast and also, we don't know if they're feeding them GMO and we don't know if they're feeding them conventional. We just know it's a vegetarian. Diet. Right, right. And what they eat, we eat. So, we want to make sure that we're minimizing any type of extra chemicals that we could be consuming. Mm -hmm. And we know for sure organic, they're eating organic fed, um, organic fed vegetables or what they call it, vegetarian diet. They're, they're eating that. Okay. But that's not what I don't know about you, I always go for ground turkey, could stretch out ground turkey for like three, four meals. Mm -hmm. I always get like four packs of ground turkey because we eat a lot of protein. Yeah. So we get like four packs of ground turkey and that could stretch it out for like a good, day, uh, like a two or three days. Okay. Okay, and you know what? Another thing. You no know, football just started. Yes. The wings? Yes. Wings. Oh, you see I grabbed the the organic. Yeah, and they, they normally have a bigger batch, but this one is this more is, expensive. Yeah. I, don't, I, I don't know if it's because the plastic or what. That, they, they, like, this is not enough. It, it sure ain't. I can eat that whole little box <laughs> by myself. This is not enough. Okay, so how would I pair a meal for football Sunday for me? Okay, Greg? you would make that a cheat meal day. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about trying to pair your meals as perfect because you're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not going to happen. Yeah. So just already automatically account that as a cheat meal, and then you'll get back on track. The next okay. Time. Another question. Uh huh. <laughs> liquor. Okay. Liquor, liquor, liquor. Yeah. What? So Sundays, Saturdays, and Sundays are the days that I consume yeah. my alcohol. Okay. I'm trying to keep it to a minimum because I know what we got going on. Yes. What would you recommend for me to drink? Like a balanced alcoholic beverage. There's no balanced alcohol beverage. Ed was trying to make alcohol healthy. She's like, listen, look, I, need a, I need my alcohol. Give me a little bit of a drink. I can need a glass of wine, something to take a little edge off. <laughs> nope, though, no, there's no healthier option. The only thing I can do is say, monitor your servings. But I mean, how realistic mm -hmm. would that be to monitor your servings? Or make the same day you'll have your alcohol, you have to make it the same day you'll have your cheat meal. That way you won't have to worry about it mm -hmm. so much. That's the only option I have. Ever. That's the only thing. <laughs> I know, I know. Okay. Okay.